Hey, what's up, everyone? Everyone, now if you're bringing the action figure review, this is everything I look at the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader Emperor's Wrath action figure. This is the Walgreens exclusive, uh, exact same Darth Vader figure we've gotten before, exact same accessories. But this time around, we have an electrified uh, transparent helmet, as it looks like. Uh, when he got electrified by the Emperor at the end of Return of the Jedi, of course, trying to save Luke. Uh, and you could see his skull briefly and all that. I'm surprised they even did this, but it's an exclusive, so pretty cool that they did it. Uh, he also comes with a chopped off hand uh, that's supposed to expose the wires or, you know, the internal uh, wiring inside his machinery <laughs> or machine or mechanical hand. Uh, the back says, unable to watch his son Luke Skywalker die at the hands of the Emperor, Darth Vader received a lethal blast of force lightning as he hurled his master to his doom. This Vader out of the passion, pretty cool. I think if you ask me, not a bad idea to make. I, I just really didn't think they were going to do something like this. This is kind of crazy. Um, when I first saw pictures of this online, I thought it was fake, but pretty cool. Honestly, it is pretty cool, and it's an exclusive, and it's not like a normal release that took a spot and a wave and all that. So I think it's pretty cool uh, for any Star Wars fan. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite uh, Black Series figures anyways, this Darth Vader, uh, the first one, not this one specifically, but the first release of it, it's pretty, I really like the Darth Vader, uh, but this is not a removable helmet, so you can't see his actual skull, which is weird, if, you know, if you could, uh, so that's fine with me, uh, we'll take a closer look at the helmet, but, you know, everything's the same here, that cloth cape that's amazing on this figure, and then I took the hand off, so you can see the how they did that so they colored it it's not actual wires but you see where the hand goes it's like a peg and it just goes right there and that's it for accessories as we know it says red lightsaber and that's about it no more accessories i have to say i like the figure i really do like how it came out and um, you can get a closer look at that head sculpt right now it's kind of got a purple hint to it uh so and then but if you look closely you can actually see the actual skull in there they actually sculpted a skull inside it's very hard to see on the video, but you can see the skull, you can see the teeth and everything. It looks really cool. I don't know if they used the Ghost Rider skull or something, but I don't know. It looks really nice for a skull, and you can see it when you look through it pretty nice. Uh, now you also see the uh, the plastic, you know, connecting. It looks kind of weird. It's like a big square on his head, but other than that, you know, you don't, unless you really look for it, you can't see it. But you also see, like, blue... So some of the blue lightning going around on his forehead and on the back of his head. You can see it going off his, his scars on it. So very nice detail by Hasbro on, on that. And when you get the figure in hand, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but very, very cool. I like how it came out. It was really nice. Uh, for articulation, of course, left and right, up and down, like we already know. Same figure, forward and back. In and out as far as that lets you to go. Single joint to the elbow, that kind of sucks. So we'll set the wrist does not hinge because it does come off right there. Uh, this one does hinge, and the legs on the will forward and back, and then out, upper thigh swivel, double joint to knee, uh, the ankles on an ankle rocker, ankle rocker, an ankle rocker, and an ankle hinge right there, no swivel. So there you have it for the review of the Empress Wrath Walkers exclusive Darth Vader figure. I think it's pretty cool, and I think you should pick it up, it really isn't that big of a deal, it's another 20 bucks. Um, very nice figure, it's, the, it's a good Darth Vader, and he comes with this exclusive head. But it would have been cool if they had this as an alternate head for the original release, so I'm sure they weren't thinking about it when they released it. Uh, so, other than that, it's a pretty cool figure, and I think it's worth picking up. So if you enjoyed the review, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, you guys like, guys have a great day, bye. That's crispy.